there is a need to create a governing body just that just focuses on driving and scaling digital strategy implementation. Many organizations label it as a, a digital office. They they cap it uh, with a chief digital officer, if you will, and uh, and and they set up this. Uh, we are seeing organizations setting up this governing universe that is fully fully business driven, with the sole purpose of driving digital initiatives and the adoption of those programs across internal and external universes. In manufacturing organizations, the, the digital initiatives being carried out under the CIO's organization or outside of the CIO's organization, depending on what capabilities the organizations want to possess or how they want to drive these initiatives. The leader should be really a forward thinking, business benefit driven, and uh, scale oriented and not afraid to seek change from uh, doing business the traditional way or conducting IT the traditional way. It is important for the digital leader to challenge norms, work cohesively with business and to articulate and drive a business benefit realization and quantification, get business sponsorship, work with business as partners and, and drive more towards an ecosystem driven uh, organization rather than drive point solutions for problem statements. Manufacturing organizations will need to start thinking, rethinking rather, their delivery methodologies, user experiences and key persona strategy, you know, reducing the reliance on uh, physical assets, using cloud as a, as a key extension of their IT ecosystem. They will need to start thinking about using uh, uh, applications and infrastructure both as products that are interconnected and interoperable. Introducing microservices as a way of getting data and, and, and business logic, a core IP business logic from monolithic homogeneous systems. They just need to adopt modernization and transformation as a way of life.